体どんなやつなんだ化け物特に吸血鬼に関してならそう誰よりもエキスパートですよいい夜だこんな夜だ血も吸いたくなるさああ静かで本当にいい夜だアルカード is the main protagonist of the Helsing series created by Kauta Hirano He is the most powerful weapon of the Helsing organization, which fights against vampires and other supernatural forces. Alucard is not a simple vampire. It is implied that he is the most powerful living vampire and might be the most powerful character in the series, only rivaled by the captain and Alexander Anderson. Alucard is devoted to his master, Integra Helsing, and is a good friend of the Helsing's butler, Walter Dornez. He also has feelings of admiration towards his young apprentice, Sira's Victoria. Alucard works with the Helsing organization against other vampires and evil forces. He fights fiercely and often with extreme cruelty, rarely killing his target and only finishing them once they have been humiliated, while frequently allowing enemies more than one opportunity to kill him. Though he only seeks to be killed by a human, having grown bored of immortality and life. As revealed in Volume 8 of the manga, he is Count Dracula, and his current name is just a reversal of this, and his real name is Vlad Tepes III. More than 500 years ago, during his original life as Vlad the Impaler, he fought in the Crusades to save his homeland in the name of God, only to fail miserably and be decapitated. Shortly after the events presented in the original novel by Bram Stoker, Dracula was defeated by Abraham Van Helsing and became a loyal servant of the family. Decades later, Abraham's descendant, Arthur Helsing, gave the Count his current name, Alucard. The manga takes place more than a hundred years later, when the Helsing organization is forced to fight against the remnants of a Nazi battalion. He usually dresses in a distinctive Victorian and Western manner with a charcoal suit, leather riding boots, a red tie, and a long red coat similar to Van Helsing's. He also wears a red felt hat with a wide, flexible brim and a pair of circular sunglasses with wire frames. However, this form seems to be part of his being as he can change it at will. In his normal form, he also wields two double pistols that have long barrels with engravings on the sides. He also has other forms with their own appearances and weapons, which include Vlad the Impaler. His original true form as the Voivoda King of Wallachia comes equipped with 15th century knight's armor, longer hair and also facial hair, and a black and red cloak with a long lapel collar, and wields a two-handed medieval double-edged sword that has a long steel blade with a polished brass handle. In this form, he also commands the Valachian Crusader cavalry as he once did in the Middle Ages, and can use his supernatural powers to impale enemies. Nosferatu. His iconic form as the Romanian Count from Stoker's novel comes equipped with a fitted black suit that resembles an old, straight jacket with long, loose hair. This is the form he generally uses to bite and suck the blood of his victims, and it is also the form he used in the events of Dracula the novel, and wields a great amount of magical and supernatural abilities, most of which are fire and hellhounds that are more commonly known as Baskerville hounds. Apart from his normal form, he uses this one quite frequently. Alucard of the 40s, also referred to as Gerlicard by some fans, is the form he took during World War II while fighting against the Nazis alongside his then friend Walter Dornez. This form strangely resembles a girl and is theorized to possibly be his only female form. On the other hand, this form comes equipped with a white outfit consisting of a coat and a cap, and in this form, he wields a machine gun. Alucard fights with ferocity and often with extreme cruelty, rarely firing to kill until his target has been completely incapacitated and humiliated. However, he retains some humanity as he is still capable of shedding tears and showing affection for his loved ones, which Alexander Anderson interpreted as him not being completely lost. Being essentially immortal and invulnerable, Alucard is very egotistical. He freely taunts and despises his opponents, often allowing them to inflict seemingly fatal wounds before healing and counterattacking. One of his favorite methods of fighting is to allow himself to be blown to pieces before simply reassembling. 
An example is shown in Volume 2 when Alucard fights Luke Valentine. When Luke gains an advantage over Alucard, victory seems within his grasp. The tides change when Alucard transforms part of himself into a hellhound. Then Alucard blows off Luke's legs with his pistols before telling him to regenerate, pick up his weapon, and fight back. When Luke fails to do so, Alucard devours Luke and declares him little more than dog food. Despite appearing to be a completely invincible being, it is possible to take Alucard by surprise, usually due to his arrogance. In his first encounter with Alexander Anderson, he assumed he had easily killed Anderson with a single bullet, but was surprised when Anderson regenerated. Alucard also expressed deep disappointment that Luke was not a more worthy adversary. In the anime, he seemed concerned with finding a worthy opponent. In the manga, however, Alucard states he wishes to find an opponent, a human opponent, with enough willpower to destroy him despite his strength. Beneath his arrogance, Alucard is deeply sad and appears to envy humans. Alucard also has great respect for humans who have the strength of will to endure old age and death because he lacked any of these qualities when facing death. All these feelings are shown at various points throughout the series, such as when Alucard tells the Queen that she is that same energetic young woman from 50 years ago and is now truly beautiful. He was enraged when Anderson stabbed himself in the heart with Helena's nail as he saw Anderson making the same mistake Alucard made. While facing the younger vampiric form of Walter in Chapter 74, Alucard said that Walter's old and aging body was a billion times more beautiful than the new vampiric one. Alucard is also capable of affection, as he occasionally shows much to Ceres and Integra. Overall, Alucard also has a great affinity for humans who take pride in themselves, often expressing his desire to die by a human's hand. On certain occasions, he shows respect for certain humans for their bravery, like the mortal members of Iscariot who fought to let Anderson reach him. Alucard has expressed extreme disgust with the vampires he has been hunting for the last 100 years, especially when they kill without a purpose. In Chapter 3 of the manga named Murder Club, he labels the two vampires responsible for the killing as pathetic. In the original anime version, Alucard makes his discontent evident, demanding to know the motivation behind their rampage. Despite his disgust for homicidal vampires, he is not entirely against immortality. Rather, he believes it is something one must earn. Presumably, he sees his own transformation as an escape from death and a cowardly action. He gladly gave Ceres immortality despite his self-reflection due to her indomitable will and courage for continuing to fight against the monsters in Cheddar and not giving up even when she was about to die. He also saw Walter in the same way for a time, even indirectly offering him immortality before Walter revealed his true desires. Another important aspect of Alucard's personality is his relationship with God. As a human, he was raised by the Turks and abused by the Sultan as a prisoner and as a child soldier. As a warrior, he believed that words alone were not enough to establish faith. Rather, he believed that the only way to attract God's attention was to perform works in his name, a belief shared by his rival Alexander Anderson. According to this belief, he never asked favors from God, but did many great and terrible things. He became famous and feared for punishing and impaling wrongdoers, and those who opposed his methods in his own lands and abroad also gained fame for waging a war against the Muslims in hopes of bringing down the New Jerusalem, and for sacrificing his troops and his people to achieve his own objectives. He believed that if he and his men tried hard enough and sacrificed enough, God himself would intervene in their favor. His actions made even his own people fear him, and subsequently, only a small number of his peasants and soldiers showed up to help him in his last battle. When he lost the war and was made prisoner by the Turks, he realized he had failed, and that his country, his kingdom, his people, his friends, and his family had been murdered for his desire for revenge, greed, war, violence, and power. Because of this, he felt abandoned by God, so he abandoned God in turn and drank the blood of his burned and besieged land to become a vampire. Over the years, his hatred against God deteriorated, and he accepted the truth that it was his own resentment against those who harmed him in his youth that drove his actions, and that he used God's name to mask his own bitterness and thirst for power in battle. 
This is similar to how Count Dracula was portrayed in Francis Ford Coppola's film Bram Stoker's Dracula, which Hirano has cited as one of his major sources of inspiration. The following are Alucard's powers, obtained both by being a vampire and through various years of research within the Helsing organization. Alucard is an extremely formidable and deadly opponent who can take down most supernatural enemies without releasing the seals that contain his true power. As a true vampire, Alucard is inherently strong. To begin with, his jackal and casual weapons are too big and powerful for a human to handle, let alone use, but he does both with ease. He has been seen fighting with his bare hands even against some supernatural weapons and destroying them like Tubalcane's magic cards. Despite his armor, Alucard could gut and tear apart several policemen with one hand. The extent of his strength is unknown, though it seems to vary with the release state he is in, as his Nosferatu form has significantly greater feats of strength and durability than his other forms. Alucard is too fast for the human eye to follow, but other vampires like Walter and Tubalcane Alhambra can keep up with him without problems. Alexander Anderson, a regenerator, can also do this, almost matching his speed on several occasions. Alucard's reaction times are excellent, allowing him to catch bullets from Rip Van Winkle with his teeth, despite one of these bullets penetrating an SR-71 Blackbird several times while the plane was moving at top speed. This vampire takes most of the damage without flinching or making noise, allowing the enemy to attack in silence before counterattacking. He can even attack after being shredded by bullets. After Rip Van Winkle causes him to crash his Blackbird, he emerges from the aircraft without a scratch and easily destroys everyone on board, even when they use high-caliber weapons against him. He has been thrown through skyscrapers and bled excessively, and even Walter does not know any sure way to defeat him other than to kill him over and over until he stays down. He also appears to have the ability to harden the surface of his body to the point where in a direct clash with one of Tubalcane's playing cards, he was able to shatter it without any difficulty despite the cards being shown capable of cutting a depleted uranium cannon projectile in half. Alucard has the ability to perfectly and quickly recover from any physical injury. He has been torn apart by conventional weaponry and holy weaponry designed to kill those of his kind and has survived everything. Wounds from holy weapons, although they affect him more, regenerate anyway, just not as fast. In addition to these, he also possesses senses that are not only sharper than a mortal's, but also have abilities they completely lack. In particular, he possesses a third eye that allows him to see things from very, very far away. Although he never uses it, it is likely he can see through things that deceive human eyes, as Cirrus does when facing Zorin Blitz. This is not an inherent ability and must be used consciously, as Alucard could not see through Tubalcane's illusory clones. Similarly, Cirrus could not see through Zorin's illusions until told they were illusions. Although generally having a corporeal and humanoid form, Alucard is made of a highly variable, otherworldly substance that is black at the core and reddish at its edges. This can be seen, especially every time he takes significant damage, as the darkness is immune to conventional weaponry. Besides composing his being, it can serve as a weapon. Alucard can transform this material into practically anything he chooses. One of the powers that can be seen a few times is the ability to pass through solid objects such as walls. Moreover, it is unclear if Alucard is a true immortal, but at least he is biologically immortal, immune to diseases and aging. Alucard has suffered all types of injuries in the most extreme degrees only to reform. This also seems to indicate structural immortality, but the vampire himself claims there is no true immortal. This means his immortality is only biological, and there is a way to kill him. The talk he had with Anderson that he is alone, and his duel with Walter implies that after the seals are removed, his heart is vulnerable to being impaled. But despite this, after absorbing Schrodinger, his immortality may have increased, but if so, it is not known how. If Alucard goes too long without consuming blood, he will enter into a state of dormancy. It is unknown if he can die of starvation, as he spent decades without a drop of blood before a young Integra finds him. It is never clarified if this is exclusive to him, or if all vampires can do this. Alucard has the ability to manipulate blood. 
This ability seems to be limited to blood outside the body, as he is never seen influencing the blood of enemies while they are intact. By draining a person of their blood, Alucard gains dominion over their souls and forms. He also acquires any knowledge they possess, as he was able to discover Millennium by draining two Volcano Alhambra of his blood. This gives him the ability to summon anyone whose soul he has taken. He has an entire legion dwelling within him, but seems to prefer using Baskerville, the Black Dog. Whoever Alucard absorbs, their powers will be at his disposal. While Cirrus gives her familiar, Pip Bernadotte, some freedom within her own soul, Alucard seems content with completely dominating everything that lives within him. It is unclear if this is due to their individual wills or Cirrus's lack of experience. It is also unclear if Alucard can obtain familiars after consuming Schrodinger. Although form is not of particular importance to him, Alucard claims he can transform into anything. He has transformed into a girl, several bats, an amorphous darkness, and has various preset forms and can assume the form of a hellhound. It is unknown if he can take the form of inanimate objects like tables or chairs. He is also capable of turning his body into a kind of dark reddish mist to nullify attacks against him. For communication, Alucard is capable of telepathically talking with Cirrus. Telepathy does not seem to have a maximum range. He can also read the thoughts of others if he wishes. He showed such ability when he was able to move the HMS Eagle to London overnight. This ability was also demonstrated in the OVA when he knocked down two of the Queen's bodyguards without even touching them, and how he slammed a door shut when the SWAT team attacking him in the hotel tried to escape. It can also be assumed that he used telekinesis to throw the entire SWAT team from the hotel and impale them on flagpoles. Other vampires operate in the dark, due to a supposed weakness to light. However, Alucard seems to have no problem with sunlight, only complaining that being awake during the day is tiring. He has the ability to control the weather to an unknown extent, as demonstrated by the fog created when he returned to London aboard the HM's Eagle. Alucard has the ability to control minds, doing so exclusively with humans. The affected human will enter a euphoric, stupor-like state, and their eyes will glow red. They will be docile to all forms of Alucard, doing and speaking as he wants. This hypnotic link is established through direct eye contact and does not fail, even when Alucard's attention is elsewhere. Alucard, during his fight with Tubalcane, is shown not only to be able to stand vertically on a wall, but also to run backwards. This would indicate some ability to defy gravity. Additionally, during Cirrus's first mission, Alucard is seen floating behind Cirrus. After accidentally consuming Schrodinger and being lost within himself for 30 years, Alucard emerges with the powers of the Werkin. He is everywhere and nowhere, making him omnipresent. Lastly, Alucard has the ability to sense supernatural activity. In the dawn, a prequel to Helsing, Alucard knew the captain was a werewolf the moment he saw him, and in the OVA, he could see the blessings on Father Anderson's bayonets, as well as the holy barrier preventing his escape. Hey, don't go just yet. If you enjoyed my video, I'd love to recommend another one for you to watch.